book, you know, is, is very heavy on the on the werewolves, and uh, the, the werewolves have pretty much taken over Vancouver, <laughs> so I'm hiding out here in L.A. <laughs> it's really funny to watch, because you got all these new cast members, and there's these, there's these really buff, good-looking, like, American Native Indian guys running around uh, Vancouver, and you can spot them a mile away, you'll know exactly who they are, you know, and, uh, but they're fun. They're fun guys, and, and it makes it more interesting, I think, because you get to see a whole other, you know, side of, of the Twilight series. You got the vampires, and now you're going to have the werewolves, and then the third one, they kind of team up. So it's a fun story. I'm, I'm excited to be a part of it all. <laughs> Rob who? <laughs> no, uh, you know what the funniest ones are? The funniest ones are they'll meet me, and they'll go... Uh, know Rob Pattinson? And I'm like, yeah, I think so, because I, I was working with him on screen, <laughs> so I hope that I know. <laughs> but they're more in awe when they meet me than I know Rob. Gosh, yeah. that's not right. That's okay. What do you think about the mom, Twilight mom, supporting his crowd who are in love with Twilight? You know, my sister's one of them, so I, I, I think it's great. I think that, I mean, so many people think this movie is about all for, like, 12-year-old to 15-year-old girls, and it's not. I mean, my sister's, I think, 42. Sorry, sis, I just told her how old you are. <laughs> the whole world knows now. Um, and she loves the, the series, and she loves the books, and she loves the movies. Um, it's really fantastic. Chris White knows exactly what he's doing. He knows what he's looking for. Um, he's an actor, a director. He listens to you. Um, it just looks beautiful. I've gotten a chance to see some of the, not dailies, because they won't let you see it, but I want like a playback. And it looks good. It looks good. So I think people are going to be really happy with it. Because the vampires, nah. What? Gary just went over to you know. But he's not as conflicted in his morality. In the world. I can, in Twilight, he's very much a vampire, but he has like a sensitivity, like you said, but in the moon, he's like, I'm a vampire, and I'm not going to really apologize for that. A vampire against a werewolf? You said a vampire would always win. A vampire against a werewolf would always win. This is, this is what I believe, this is what I was told by a very reliable source. <laughs> but Jacob the werewolf is an exceptional werewolf, so he can do some damage on a vampire. So it's, it's, it's more of an even fight between Jacob and a vampire. But between a vampire and any other werewolf, a vampire will probably win. I mean, nothing, nothing crazy. It's actually, for, for us actors, um, quite easy. It's kind of boring because we have all the weight off our shoulders right now. So with all the fans giving us all their support and enjoying the first movie, and you know, for us to not worry if we're, we're, we're bringing our characters to life, we're just having fun and, uh, I don't know, it's a cakewalk in a way. And, uh, we get to, you know, try more with our characters and all. But now all the pressure's on the new director, Chris, and he's doing an amazing job. It's just such a well oiled machine that, uh, it doesn't feel like work. So we do just goof off around set, and especially when Jackson's fans playing 100 Monkeys. Amazing. He's so talented. His fans awesome. And, uh, you know, he played a couple times when we were up there in Vancouver, so the whole cast got there, and then, of course, all the fans are there. And it's just fun being able to rock out and watching one of my good friends out here in L.A. and then my brother in this movie, and then being able to celebrate his talent with his band, with the fans, which is nice. Because in uh, New Moon, the Cullen family isn't so much the priority. It's more about the werewolf family with uh, Jacob. So my biggest stunt was picking up the heavy Kristen Stewart. She was so heavy. I had to work out, do about a thousand push-ups before, you know, I, I did that scene where I picked her up and spun around. Um, obviously, she's the lightest girl I've ever helped, um, and she's, uh, it made my job easy. Yes. You know what? Uh, I read the book, and New Moon for me was kind of slower. I don't know if it's the depression of what Bella went through that was kind of hard for me being a male to read about in a way. And I know we all went through that when 